talent is getting Disney plus these days and loving it. But it still feels weird that Robert Zemeckis, well, maybe not Robert Zemeckis, he's had some clunkers, uh, but Tom Hanks would get Disney plus with their new live action Pinocchio. But here they are. Although it seems there's a method to Disney's madness is they're using those two uh, stars, Zemeckis and Hanks, a famous duo. We talk about actor-director combos all the time. There's one. To kick off an incredible celebration of Disney content with Disney Plus Day announced for September 8th to be followed by D23 over that weekend. You thought September was going to be slow? Not anymore, as they're sticking a big Disney convention smack in the middle of it. That's the weekend after Memo uh, Labor Day, Labor Day weekend. All right, so let's take a look at this. I'm excited. I think the stills so far have looked excellent. This will soon be followed by Peter Pan starring Jude Law. All right, here we go. Looks just like the movie, the animated one. But those were features in a theater. He is legendary. He's also legendary. He needs no, no description. I look so... Oh, Figaro! Oh, I love it already. Star light, star bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may. I wish I might. Have the wish I wish tonight. Ah, oh, you got it, buddy. When you wish upon a star She looks beautiful. A Disney Plus Day premiere. Wow, only Luke Evans got a... Uh... That's very clever. They do... Whoever comes up with how to animate the Disney Plus logo is a genius. <laughs> only Luke Evans and Cynthia Revo got billing. There's some other big names in this. Um, perhaps they're the only ones who are on screen and not doing voices. Uh, I think Cynthia Erivo looks just stunning, and that's a really wonderful treatment of the Blue Fairy. She looks magical indeed, and she's a wonderful singer, Cynthia Erivo. Really a great singer. Anyone who's seen, but remember that Motel movie with uh, Chris Hemsworth? She really did a good job there. Uh, and of course, who doesn't love Tom Hanks? I think that looks enchanting. Uh, I think, you know, I think the reason they put this on Disney+, Plus, some of the shots look a little TV, but I think the reason they put it on Disney Plus is that Pinocchio is um, such an old Disney film. Uh, it was, I think, the third one they made, right? It was Snow White, Bambi, then Pinocchio. And I think it just doesn't have... Um, my father loves it, though. It's, it's, you know, I think some people will really... And I have, you know, I think, you know, whoever's been on the ride at Disneyland, uh, you know, people have a nice affinity for it, but I don't think it's the same as, like, the Disney Renaissance films that they've been remaking quite successfully. Um, so, yeah, so I can see maybe what, that maybe being one of the reasons to put it there, especially if it kicks off a four- to five-day celebration, which I'll be covering. So what did you think of that? I thought it just looked enchanting. Uh, I really liked it. And I think, I think people just gobbled up on Disney+. Plus. Uh, but I'm, cur and I'm curious to hear the music, though. They have some, of course, When You Wish Upon a Star is uh, one of the most famous Disney songs, and it, it comes from this movie. All right, so what did you think? Uh, and are you excited about the Disney Bonanza in mid-September? Share your thoughts down below. Subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.